Forty. Christmas Bazaar. Hi. Currently we're in our bus and we are doing our last tour day in Arusha. So we're on the way to the Maasai market and also our school donates uh, supplies to children along with donations. You know, Mali, I meant to ask you, what is this road, what is this uh, street right here since we drive by it so many times? It's Kijenga Road. That was a Kijenge, Kijenge Road. Kijenge Road. Kijenge is the name of the street uh, or the area down here. Uh, now, good morning. Greetings, greetings. Good morning, Mali. Good morning, Mali. Good Yeah, it's it. Um, today is a new day and now we're heading to the school. A primary school that you donate the school supplies that you came with. Um, the, the school is just next like, to where we went for a cultural, for a coffee study. It's on the opposite side. And when we get there, we get a contact to the, we get to talk to the school director so that they will arrange which class we will be visiting and how it's going to be. Don't know yet. Uh, the school we're visiting is a primary school, and primary school is seven years, class one to class seven. Uh, from age of six, the five or six, they can already start a primary school. The first year to the fourth year, first the first year, to the second year they only do half day. The third and fourth, they will start doing full day. That means they will have lunch at the school, at the school, and then they will go home in the evening. Some of the schools where there is no enough classrooms, class one and two, which is the babies of five or six, their classes can be used by the class three and four in the afternoon. So they have like two shifts. But uh, luckily, the government of Tanzania is building in every village a primary school. And they will, they will be um, building every ward, every ward in the in the, in the, in the country. They bring uh, big building one secondary school. That means by 2025, we'll be able to accommodate all the children who are supposed to go to school from primary to secondary school for free. Um, when we say for free, is that they are not, we are not paying the school fees. But we pay for the school books, we pay for the pen, we pay for the uniform, which is not that expensive. It's something you can do slowly, it's not like you need this money once. Like the school fees, when it comes to January, there's no question. You pay, your child will go to school, you don't pay, your child will not attend the school. So after this time of being half half, those who have money, their children can go to school. Those who have no money, the children will struggle. The government decided all the children to have free education, primary to secondary school. So the one we will be visiting, the parents are only paying for school needs like pen, pencil, exercise books, study books. And um, as the focus is by 2025, the government will also be able to, to supply the study books to all the schools. Well, if you want extra books, you have to pay for it, but the, the basic ones will be given by the government. Part of this road will be driving in a pet tarmac road, so you can enjoy the fresh air. And when we get to the dusty road, we'll ask the driver to run the AC. And that's the time you'll see him putting on his mask, because he get, he, 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 he been suffered sometimes from the Guess that AC is producing. So if you see him putting the uh, the mask, do not do not be offended. Like why is he putting the mask? No, it's just because of the AC. I have no problem. If, 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 if you were a driver in Senegal and you had a mask on, that's because the government uh, have a mandate out to if you're driving and you don't have a mask on, they can stop and give you a ticket. So that's too interesting situation. Yeah, here mask is not must. It's obligatory. It's op option. You can put on mask or not. Uh, to be honest, I only put the mask when I'm entering the hospital because it's must. 
and the government offices. Otherwise, since the beginning of Corona, I only put the mask when it, where it's needed. And if I'm far from crowd, I would not put a mask on. Yes. yes. So I have a question. You know, if you want to like donate money to a, like a child's tuition, there's two ways you can do. One way is you do direct to the school. One way you can do through the Africa for Africans. So that if you don't want to deal with all the logistics, talk to Bomani, he can do it for you. No, I mean, while we have to school, sponsor, to sponsor a child. Ah, right. you, want, you want to sponsor a child. Ah, yeah. That you should do through the school director. Okay. Yeah. Excellent, that's always a good uh, suggestion, yeah. a recommendation. So it's better that you deal, if you, if you deal with the school director, he or she will give you the contact and then you know how much you pay, pay annually and that goes direct to the school and the school will give to the child. Beautiful life family, let's show you some of this outside view. Will we be back about one or three? Around one. It depends on how manage our time at the school, it depends on how we manage our time at the Maasai market, thereafter, you know, free up. So medium is 